हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मिशन गेट 2022 राइट सो इन दिस सेशन आवर मेन फोकस विल बी ऑन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स ओनली राइट सो हियर वी विल सी द गेट 2022 फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स ओनली सो ओनली मैकेनिकल स्टूडेंट्स कैन गो थ्रू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन we will mainly discuss about which are the important subjects of mechanical engineering for the gate examination and then how to prepare these various subjects and which are the best reference book or which are the best other books for the preparation of gate examination as a point of view mechanical students and what will be the best score for the selection in psu and various iits now gate is nothing but graduate aptitude test in engineering now as it is test in engineering therefore this examination is only for engineering students those who have background of engineering they can only apply for the gate examination this gate examination is conducted by iisc bangalore and various iits in india now in 2022 the iit bombay will conduct this gate examination for mechanical students this exam will be in february second week we can say february second week this exam will be there for mechanical engineering students on saturday and sunday it may be on saturday or it may be on sunday of second week of february and my dear students for gate examination the total number of questions in the question paper will be 65 and out of the 65 questions 35 questions will be of two mark question that means two mark question will be for 70 marks and 30 questions will be for one mark that is 30 questions will be of one mark therefore total one mark questions are 30 questions now therefore the total marks is 100 marks right therefore my dear students this gate examination total number of questions are 65 and total marks are 100 marks and time for this examination is 3 hours but my dear students for any competitive exams always we have to think time in minutes and seconds so 3 hour time means we have 180 minutes time right later we will understand why the time we have to calculate in minutes right we have importance of each and every minute and this exam is computer based test cbt test therefore the computer will exactly allow you for 180 minutes to write this examination right and my dear students if you think about the questions per minute or what is the time available for each question and what is the time available for each mark let us concentrate on this total time we have is 180 minutes and number of question total number of question are 65 therefore if i take this ratio i have 2.77 minutes for one question for one question we have 2.77 minutes right means we have 2 minutes and 40 to 45 seconds now and if i talk talk about number of minutes with respect to marks then we can say 180 minutes for 100 marks therefore we have 1.8 minutes for one mark for each mark we have 1.8 minutes right and here out of this total 65 question and out of this total 100 marks the 50% questions will be having negative marking the 50% questions that is will be mcq type multiple choice question multiple choice question means such questions there will be four option that is option a option b option c and option d there will be this such like four options and let us say for this question if option a is correct then you have to select option a for getting full marks and if you select any other option than option a if a is the answer provided if a is the answer if you select any other choice than a then you will be getting negative marks and the negative marking is 1/3 you will be having 1/3 negative marking that means let us say the question is of one mark the question is of one mark and if you select option a and your answer is correct then you will get full one mark and if you select any other option then you will get minus 1 by 3 mark minus 1 by 3 means 0.33 marks will be reduced from your result and if the question is of two mark then if you for right choice you will get full two marks and for wrong choice you will get minus 2 by 3 marks that means 0.666 marks will be reduced from your final result and my dear students such mcq type question will be 50% questions out of total questions or out of total marks 50% questions will be having negative marking and other 50% questions will be numerical answer type right 
वी कैन से रिमेनिंग फिफ्टी परसेंट क्वेश्चन विल बी न्यूमरिकल एंसर टाइप एंड फॉर सच क्वेश्चन दे विल प्रोवाइड यू स्पेस वेयर यू हैव टू फील यूर न्यूमरिकल क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू टाइप यूर न्यूमरिकल डाटा और वॉट यूर मे बी द रिजल्ट लेट अस से इन सम क्वेश्चन इफ दे आस्क यू फाइंड दी वर्क एंड दे विल मेन्शन यू फाइंड दी वर्क इन किलो जूल एंड लेट अस से बाय कैलकुलेशन यूर एंसर इज लेट अस ए थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वन दिस इज यूर एंसर थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वन किलो जूल इन क्वेश्चन ओनली दे विल से यू फाइंड वर्क इन किलो जूल नाउ यू गॉट दिस रिजल्ट देर फोर इन दिस ब्रैकेट यू हैव टू टाइप थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वन फॉर गेटिंग फुल मार्क्स राइट एंड फॉर सच क्वेश्चन देर इज नो प्रोविजन फॉर टाइपिंग द यूनिट देर फोर इन क्वेश्चन ओनली दे विल प्रोवाइड द यूनिट इन दिस यूनिट फाइंड द एंसर राइट एंड फॉर सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन नो निगेटिव मार्किंग वी कैन से निगेटिव मार्क्स फॉर सच क्वेश्चन नो निगेटिव मार्किंग राइट मीन्स फॉर राइट एंसर यू विल गेट फुल मार्क्स एंड फॉर रॉन्ग एंसर यू विल गेट जीरो मार्क्स Now the complete mechanical engineering syllabus is divided into four groups. These are first is design group, other is thermal group, next is production, and last is general group. Right? These are the four groups of mechanical engineering syllabus. Now let us discuss these groups one by one. In design group, very first subject is engineering mechanics. We can say engineering mechanics is the very first subject in design group. Now my dear students, basically in this engineering mechanics there are two topics. that is statics and dynamics basically this engineering mechanics is divided into first is statics and other is dynamics these are the basically two topics of engineering mechanics syllabus and again in statics there are sub topics such as equilibrium equations then friction and trusses these are the three topics of statics very small small topics and in dynamics again we have few topics such as friction in dynamics whenever there is a motion what will be the friction right then impulse momentum principle work energy principle then mass moment of inertia calculation circular motion calculation plane motion that is linear plus circular motion both motions together all these calculations comes under dynamics and my dear students there will be definitely one question on statics and one question on dynamics means there will be definitely two to three mark question on this engineering mechanics definitely it will be having two to three marks for mechanical engineering syllabus right and second subject in design group is strength of material som we call it as a solid mechanics or strength of material or som right and my dear students in this strength of material each and every concept of statics is required right therefore this strength of material is application of engineering mechanics and be specific it is a application of statics in engineering mechanics so this understanding of strength of material can be done only if you understand statics therefore half part of engineering mechanics is 100% useful for strength of material as well as this is useful for machine design also and my dear students this strength of material will be there for 9 to 10 marks 9 to 10 marks will be strength of material now third subject is theory of machine and my dear students in theory of machine vibration is also included here vibration is also included in theory of machine only right we have one degree of freedom only for the vibration multi degree of freedom we don't have right one degree of freedom without damping with damping this vibration we have for the syllabus and third subject is theory of machine and my dear students in this theory of machine all the concepts of dynamics of engineering mechanics are useful that means the remaining 50% of engineering mechanics that is dynamics is 100% useful for understanding of theory of machine and vibration therefore my dear students here though the engineering mechanics is only for 2 to 3 marks but this subject is very much useful for the proper understanding of strength of material and for the proper understanding of theory of machine and my dear students this theory of machine there will be 9 to 10 mark questions on this theory of machines in the syllabus right and last subject in design group is machine design the machine design is the last subject from the design group now my dear students again in this machine design all the static concepts from the engineering mechanics are useful means here the application of statics is strength of material and the application of strength of material is machine design all the concepts of strength of material each and every concept of strength of material as well as statics from engineering mechanics is useful for understanding of this machine design right and this machine design will be there for 4 to 5 marks in the gate examination now my dear students whenever i have distributed here marks now the topics like spring design then theories of failure and principal stresses these three topics i have included in strength of material 
then only I have written here weightage of 9 to 10 marks for the strength of material. And these three topics are also the common topics of machine design. That is principal stresses, then theories of failure and spring design. These three topics can be studied in strength of material and can be studied in machine design also. Few faculties teach these topics in some and few faculties used to teach these topics in machine design. If these three topics are considered in machine design, then the weightage of machine design will change. Now, considering these three topics, that is principal stresses, theories of failure and spring design. If these three topics are considered in machine design, then machine design will be for 7 to 8 marks and strength of material will be for 7 to 8 marks. The equal weight is for SOM and machine design. But here, what is my assumption? My assumption is that these three topics I am treating in strength of material, right? And then SOM will be for 9 to 10 marks and machine design for 5 to 4 marks. And my dear students, in this group, in this design group, the total weightage for this group will be, if I consider total weightage, there will be 25 to 26 marks out of 100 marks will be on design group only, right? Here weightage I have written. And can you see the weightage of most important subjects, highest weightage in this group is for SOM and TOM. Here, my dear students, as strength of material subject 2 and theory of machine subject 3, these are having highest weightage and for proper understanding of SOM and TOM, 100% use of mechanics is done, engineering mechanics. Therefore, these three subjects are very much important in this group, right? Machine design is also important, my dear students. Don't think here I am not saying that if this subject is most important and this subject is not important. This is not the thing. Here I am saying the highest weightage is most important than the low weightage and low weightage is also important. Later we will discuss that part, right? Now, the second group is thermal engineering group. Now, in this thermal engineering, the very first subject is thermodynamics. Very first subject is thermodynamics. Now, whenever I talk about thermodynamics, I am talking about basic thermodynamics plus applied thermodynamics. Applied thermodynamics includes here there will be IC engine also, there will be refrigeration and air conditioning also, and there will be power plant engineering also in the applied thermodynamics only. Right. One topic of IC engine that is IC engine cycles, two topics from the refrigeration that is psychometry and refrigeration cycles, and two topics from power plant engineering that is Rankine cycle that is steam turbine cycle and Brayton cycle that is gas turbine cycle. These two topics. Right. And basic thermodynamics. Right. All these thermodynamics I am considering here together. And these all subjects together will be for 12 to 13 marks. Now my dear students, though these are the various subjects of university, but the syllabus of these thermodynamics, if I compare with university, these all subjects together will form a single subject as a point of concept and total syllabus, as a point of view, the content of syllabus, right. Now only one topic from the IC engine, two topics from the refrigeration and two topics from the power plant engineering and five topics from the basic thermodynamics, means total 10 to 11 topics for 12 to 13 marks. This is the highest weighted subject in thermal group. Now second subject in this group is fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics is the second subject from this group. Now my dear students, this fluid mechanics will be there for 6 to 7 marks again. Right. This is also again 6 to 7 marks. And next third subject is heat transfer. Here the name of subject is heat and mass transfer for mechan but for mechanical students we don't have mass transfer. We have only heat transfer for the syllabus. Right. And my dear students this heat transfer will be there for 5 to 6 marks. 5 to 6 marks. And my dear students these marks may vary. At the end these marks may vary and the total marks on this thermal group will be for 23 to 25 marks. This thermal group they will ask for 23 to 25 marks combinedly all three subjects, right. Now the next group is a production group. The third group is production group and in this production group very first subject is production technology or production technology PT or it is also called manufacturing processes or we can say it is a manufacturing processes, right. Now this production technology or manufacturing processes will be there for 14 to 15 marks. Highest weightage in mechanical engineering, right. This is the huge weightage. Now, the second subject is industrial engineering, i.e. and operational research, OR. And again, this subject will be for 5 marks, near about 5 marks question will be there. And the last subject in this group is material science. Material science, right. Or it is termed as materials also. And this subject there will be for 1 to 2 marks question. Right, there will be one question only, that is one to two mark questions, 
right now my dear students combinedly if i combine all these subjects together the marks may vary these marks are i am considering average marks of last 10 years right now but the marks may vary as per examination now this production group will be for 20 to 22 marks total marks on this production group for these three subjects will be 20 to 22 marks right and my dear students here group 1 group 2 and group 3 all these three groups are core branches of mechanical engineering that means if you go for pursuing your mtech then in mtech you will find that mtech in design mtech in thermal mtech in production for your masters right now my dear students fourth group is general group in which very first subject is mathematics now here this mathematics will be for 15 marks total there will be for 15 marks right now basically there are seven to eight topics in the mathematics now second subject is aptitude and reasoning aptitude and reasoning and this aptitude and reasoning will be there for 10 to 11 marks 10 to 11 marks and the last subject in this group is english and this english will be there for four to five marks it will be for four to five marks means this general group general group is a common for all engineering branches right and this general group there will be 30 mark question this group will be for 30 marks and the technical group which is nothing but group 1 group 2 and group 3 this technical group together will be for 70 marks therefore technical group for 70 and general group for 30 the total weightage is 100 marks now my dear students in design group you have four subjects but i will treat them as a three subjects only because swarm with statics of engineering mechanics is one subject and theory of machine with dynamics of engineering mechanics is second subject so this engineering mechanics i will classify into half part in swarm only and half part in theory of machine only right so in strength of material if i take statics also the swarm will be for 10 to 11 marks and tom will be for 10 to 11 marks if dynamics is also considered in theory of machine now look at the weightage you will find that there will be three subjects from design three subjects from thermal three subjects from production and three subjects from general group four groups into three there will be total 12 subjects for the gate mechanical engineering now out of total 12 subjects if i classify these subjects on the basis of weightage we will find six subjects having highest weightage and six subjects having less weightage now in high weightage subject strength of material including statics of engineering mechanics will be for 10 to 11 marks theory of machine including dynamics of engineering mechanics will be for 10 to 11 marks then thermodynamics for 12 to 13 marks production technology also termed as manufacturing process for 14 to 15 marks mathematics for 15 marks and aptitude for 10 to 11 marks if i check this that is out of 12 six subjects will be for 70 to 75 marks 70 to 75 marks will be on six subjects only and remaining six subjects such as machine design plus fluid mechanics plus heat transfer plus industrial engineering and operational research and plus material science these six subjects will be there for we can say 25 to 30 marks for 25 to 30 marks and these are the low weightage subjects and these six subjects are high weightage subjects once the syllabus is known let us understand what will be the best possible preparation strategy for gate examination out of this total 100 marks total we can say 75 to 80 mark question will be on numerical question type right there will be numerical question type for 70 to 80 mark and remaining 20 to 25 mark will be theoretical questions theoretical we can say theory based questions therefore as the 75 to 80 percent questions will be for numerical type and for solving numerical we need formulas very first we need formulas right and as well as we need to understand concepts properly right and to solve theory questions we need to learn theory we need theoretical part we have to concentrate on theory as well as we have to concentrate on the standard results we can say standard results that we have to remember right these results we have to remember so my dear students here definitely we can say the maximum questions will be formula and conceptual basis so our focus must be on formulas and concepts but we have to simultaneously focus on theory and standard results also to solve these theoretical questions but many times in theoretical questions also they will ask you conceptual as well as formula basis questions right therefore for the preparation of gate one thing in your mind must come that you must be perfect in formulas as well as in concepts 
Now, very first point in the preparation strategy is that start with any one high weightage subject which is simple for you. Now, here always your preparation must start from the high weightage subject, and high weightage subjects are strength of material, theory of machine, thermodynamics, production technology. These four subjects are from the core mechanical engineering, and there are other two subjects that is mathematics and aptitude. And mathematics and aptitude are from general group that is non technical group, right. But out of these six subjects, which subject is simple for you? That depends on the candidate, that depends on the individual candidate. Some candidate may say that strength of material is simple, some may say that thermodynamics is simple, and for some candidate, production may be a simple. So, we have to select the simple subject as per your opinion or as per your understanding, and the subject which is you feel that simple, that subject must be having highest weightage, right. I will tell you significance of this and my dear students select any two subjects one from that is core mechanical group that is from SOM, TOM, thermodynamics and production out of these four subjects select any one subject let us say I selected strength of material you can select thermodynamics you can select production technology also and select one more subject from non technical group let us say mathematics and aptitude let us say I selected mathematics. I feel math is simple than aptitude, whatever may be the opinion, it's your choice, right. Let us say I selected these two subjects having highest weightage and from different groups, right. Now daily while preparing, you have to focus more on technical group and daily one hour, you have to prepare for mathematics or aptitude. Definitely for one hour, daily you have to prepare math or aptitude if you have selected aptitude and the rest time you have to spend on the subject that you have selected here I am selecting strength of material so remaining time we have to spend on strength of material for the preparation now we are selecting this combination of subjects because if you are preparing only technical subjects after some time of preparation you will feel boring and if you select only non technical subjects for the preparation after the same time again the same thing will happen so to make your preparation interesting and to balance your studies we are selecting group of subjects that is one from technical and other from non-technical but having highest weightage. Now the second point is prepare topic wise. Here this topic wise preparation is very much important or as well as useful for the competitive exams. Now let us say here you have selected strength of material and mathematics. In strength of material there are 9 to 10 topics such as basics and stress strain diagram this is the first topic then thermal stresses second topic then you can say principal stresses third topic then we can say bending stresses, shear stresses, torsion, slope and deflection. These are the various topics of strength of material. So prepare topic wise. Now for the strength of material, select any one topic. Let us say I have selected basics of strength of material, basics of strength of material and stress strain diagram. This topic I have selected. Right. So we have to focus on only on this topic. Once the topic is completed, then only we have to switch for next topic. And in mathematics also, we have to select any one topic. Let us say in mathematics, I have selected another topic that is, let us say matrices. I have selected matrices. So we have to focus only on these two topics. After the completion of these topics, only we have to think of any other topic, right? And my dear students, whenever you split the work, then you will do work very properly. If you think strength of material as a whole subject, then definitely for your preparation, you will feel difficulty. But if you think this strength of material as 10 topics, then after completion of one topic, your confidence level will increase. That one topic is completed, now 9 topics are remaining. After completion of second topic, again your confidence level will increase. Right. So that for increasing your confidence level, as well as for proper study, you have to always prepare your subject topic wise only. Now as you selected subject and you selected the topic from the subject, now learn all the concepts and theory parts from the selected topic and solve all the previous year gate questions on the same topic. Now my dear students, here after learning all the concepts and theory parts from the same topic, you have to solve all the previous year gate questions because you are preparing for the gate exam so that you must know what quality of questions and what level of question the gate exam is asking you, right. So that you have to select the topic and prepare the topic thoroughly and solve each and every question in previous year gate exams right till now we can say from 1988 to 2021 
you will find many questions on the selected topic. So you have to solve each and every question from the topic. And after the solution, you will get idea that which question you are not able to understand and you are not able to solve. Now, if you are feeling difficulty in solving the gate questions, let us say in first try, you solved 50% questions and other 50% questions you are feeling difficulty to solve. Now, you have idea which questions you are able to solve and in which question you are feeling difficulty. Now, again, go back to the topic and prepare this topic thoroughly and then solve these questions because now already you know that which questions and on which concept you are feeling difficulty to solve right so after that 100% topic must be prepared now once the all question from previous year gate are solved for the respective topic then solve solved questions from any standard reference book now my dear students here what i am saying solve solve questions only don't solve unsolved questions because if for unsolved question the solution is not available and if you feel difficulty to solve this question your confidence level will drop so that to maintain your confidence level solve only solve questions from any standard reference book now at the end of lecture or at end of this video i will mention you for all subjects what are the standard reference book that i will provide you list don't worry about that right now after the solution of all these standard questions from the reference book your concepts and formulas will be proper and will be cleared right because after solution of gate questions and after solution of these questions from the standard book you are using the same formulas many times as well as you are applying the same concepts many times because you are solving for the single topic only right that's why your concepts and formulas will be remembered right and after this four step go for the fifth step that is solve all previous year ies that is upsc also called Indian Engineering Services, also called Engineering Services Examination, ESC, solve all the previous ESC questions, objective questions. And objective questions, maximum objective questions for the ESC are theoretical oriented. So that by solving these questions, again, you will feel some difficulty for solving these questions. Let us say again, 50 or 60% questions you have solved, the remaining 40 to 50% questions you are not able to solve. Then again, go back to the topic, read more theory, learn more concepts learn more formulas and again solve this question but after learning again and again you must be in position to solve each and every previous year question from esc as well as from standard reference book as well as from gate examination and after solving all these esc questions your theoretical points will be also cleared that means here your conceptual as well as formula basis as well as theoretical accuracy is increasing now once the preparation is done for particular topic then sixth step is very much important my dear students now prepare the short notes for the same topic whatever the topic you have prepared for the same topic prepare the short notes and my dear students for one topic the short notes are for maximum one to two pages maximum one to two pages if it is both side page then maximum one page and if it is single side page then maximum two pages for the short notes now let us say here there is a page let us say this is your a4 size page right it is your a4 size page now on this page in short notes which points you have to include that we are going to discuss very first point in short notes you have to include all the formulas because the gate is asking you maximum numerical questions so each and every formula must be clear right and in this formula the meaning of each and every term must be clear the meaning of each and every term must be clear to you as well as the unit of that term whatever may be the unit it may be a newton it may be a meter the unit you have to write means you have to write each and every formula in the short notes as well as meaning of each and every term you have to write and the unit of each and every term you have to write let us say here one formula e is equal to 2g 1 plus mu this is one of the formula right here e is young's modulus g is shear modulus and mu is Poisson's ratio this you have to write and the unit of young's modulus is nothing but newton per meter square that is unit of stress unit of shear modulus is also unit of stress and unit of Poisson ratio is no unit for Poisson ratio there is no unit these terms we have to write here right means formula the meaning of each and every term in used in the formula and unit of each and every term used in formula this is very important because my dear students let us say use use of this poison mu right this mu is called as Poisson's ratio in strength of material but the same mu is called as coefficient of friction in engineering mechanics 
but the same mu is called as viscosity in fluid mechanics and the same mu is called as joule thomson coefficient in thermodynamics that is refrigeration topic right means the same symbol is used for different significance in different subjects and again in different subject the unit is different that's why the meaning of each and every term in the formula and unit of this formula each and every term is very much important to write here right this is a very important step my dear student and after writing formula write important concepts write important concepts right this is very much important important concepts we have to write here and again one more thing we have to write here the points that you may forget later what i am saying the points that you may forget you may forget later you may forget later these points we have to write on short notes now these points will be varied for different students because some students may remember something and other student may forget the same thing right therefore the points you may forget that only we have to write in short notes now once the short notes are prepared for the particular topic then only start your new topic the next step is start your new topic and my dear students for the new topic repeat the procedure here we have to repeat the procedure means we have to prepare this topic after preparation solve gate numericals and while solving gate numericals in some question you will feel difficulty again go back to the topic and solve your difficulty right understand your difficulties now again solve each and every question from the gate examination then solve the questions from any standard reference book that is solved questions from standard reference book after that solve all previous year esc questions and after that again go back to the topic and whatever the difficulties you have clear these difficulties right and after that prepare your short notes and again in short notes there must be a formula from this topic there must be a important concepts from this topic and there must be a, the points that you may forget these points you have to include in the short notes and my dear students for one topic one page short note this is very important don't your short notes must be short it should not be lengthy because already you have prepared lengthy notes right while preparing and you have reference books for the lengthy notes your short notes must be short and for one topic maximum one page both side maximum one page right now my dear students once the second topic is also completed then before start of third topic what i am saying let us say the eighth point before start of third topic we have to revise topic number 1 and topic number 2 compulsory this is compulsory step so revise first and second topic before start of third topic this is the next step this revision is very much important to maintain your confidence level revision is always important whenever you revise then always your confidence level will increase do this procedure right after few days only you will understand that revision always increases the confidence level and if your confidence level is high you can do anything now again we have to repeat the steps that is before start of fourth topic we have to revise first second and third topic before start of fifth topic we have to revise first second third and fourth topic means before start of any new topic we have to revise each and every previous topic that already we have prepared now some students may think that sir in revision only i am consuming too much time no my dear students for revision hardly 30 minutes is required hardly 30 minutes and if you have prepared the short notes to read one page short note maximum you need 2 to 3 minutes for one page because you have prepared these notes already you know that what is written and where it is written right hence for revision of any one topic maximum 5 minutes are sufficient my dear student so revision is must now one stage will come that all the topics are revised and completed from the one subject right means it is a state of completion of subject now once the one subject is completed then start new subject new fresh subject and the new fresh subject must be again from the high weighted subjects right and my dear students for new fresh subject again you have to repeat the same procedure that already you have done for the previous subject and let us say two subjects are completed now before start of third subject revise very important revise first and second subject revise first and second subject thoroughly completely and start and start third subject third subject this is very important now my dear students what we are doing 
after completion of topic also we are revising previous topics and after completion of subject also we are revising complete previous subject that you have already prepared and in this subject wise revision you have to revise everything that means you have to revise all the theory problems as well as all the conceptual problems also means solve each and every grade previous year question as well as esc previous year question as well as in this revision you have to solve each and every previous solved question that is from reference book reference book questions right means whatever already you have solved the same things you are solving in the revision also you are learning all the concepts and theory parts again right means long notes will be revised here and my dear students after the revision of subject add two more questions from each topic means already you have prepared gate again you have prepared gate esc as well as reference book questions but add more two questions from any other reference book on the same topic let us say instead of material there are 10 topics therefore for each topic two questions you are again solving fresh new questions means in strength of material 20 questions are added in your list 20 questions are again new questions are added during first revision right now the same procedure you have to repeat after completion of third subject you have to revise first subject second subject and as well as third subject before start of fourth subject right so and again you have to solve each and every time gate question esc question reference book questions and the questions you have added in the first revision questions you have added in second revision and again you have to add more few fresh questions in each every revision now my dear students what you are doing here the subject which is completed after the completion of each subject we are revising the previous subjects and the first subject you have selected which is having highest weightage and the same subject you are revising more number of times means the subject having highest weightage is revised maximum times and this is important also for the gate examination but my dear students you must remember that each and every subject you have to prepare all the 12 subjects that is high weightage subjects as well as low weightage subjects you have to prepare but the preparation starts from the high weightage subjects so that your confidence level will increase now in this preparation strategy you must keep target now target means in how much time you have to complete one subject this is your target right and your target must be in one month that means in 30 days we can say in 30 days at least you have to complete two subjects at least you have to complete two subjects why i am giving here the time for two subjects because simultaneously you are preparing two subjects one is from technical group other is from non technical group right that's why i am mentioning here time and from non technical group that is math math aptitude and english and english for these three subjects from the non technical group daily one hour is sufficient from here onward daily one hour is sufficient now this video is recorded on 31st march today is 31st march and your exam will be on 12 or 13 february 2020 22 and today is 31st march 2021 right from here onward daily one hour is more than sufficient for mathematics aptitude and english right so my dear students here after completion of one month your two subjects must be completed and how it is completed your short notes for the same two subjects must be prepared and before short notes you are solving all the gate numericals you are solving all the previous year upsc numericals esc numericals as well as you have solved many questions from the standard reference book so you have completed the, that two subjects thoroughly right and my dear students this is your target one month two subject and total you have 12 subjects total you have 12 subjects therefore 12 divided by 2 which is nothing but 6 months therefore your preparation must be completed in 6 months total preparation that means in the span of april to september april to september your preparation complete preparation for the gate with all previous year gate questions all previous year esc questions as well as standard questions from the reference book must be completed now at the end of september you have all the short notes for each and every subject my dear students because already your preparation is done now october november december january these four months you have for revision and for solving test series now my dear students in september one time preparation is done it is not your final preparation now in october what you have to do revise the focus is on revise and subject wise test series subject wise test series test series 
here you have to solve subject wise test series means revise strength of material for two days and solve subject wise test series of strength of material any standard test series right now again revise thermodynamics for two days and solve subject wise test series from the thermodynamics only and while solving test series this is actually you are testing for particularly one subject only right now after solving test series again you will feel some difficulty in solving the questions 100% accuracy is never possible therefore 100% is efficiency is never possible this is thermodynamics right therefore let us say your accuracy is 50% while solving test series subject wise again whatever subject you feel difficulty then go back and again revise that concept now for that concept only open the reference book and revise that concept and then solve the questions which you are not able to solve in the first attempt right now complete october you are doing this procedure two days revision on any one subject and on third day solve the subject wise test series and do the analysis of this test series and in analysis what you have to write now what concepts you are missing and which concepts you are not able to apply actually while solving the questions and here again on that third day after analysis you have to revise the concepts which where you are not able to apply in the exam right now in november again in november again again revise here again revise my dear students right and after revision in november start solving section wise test series means for design section in design section there are four subjects that is engineering mechanics strength of material theory of machine and machine design now revise three to four days for complete design section and solve the test series from the design section only again here your accuracy will be let us say 50 60 70 percent little bit your accuracy will increase day by day because number of revisions are increasing now day by day right and after solution of this test series again do the analysis of test series and whatever the points you feel difficulty again revise them and again go for another section again go for the thermal group or production group or general group right this is november month and in december month again revise in december month again revise but now here your revision must be for 12 subjects all 12 subjects you have to revise and you have to attempt here full length test series full length test series right in full length test series the question will be from all the 12 subjects and 100 mark questions right and here in december in 10 days your one revision must be completed right because already you have prepared everything after the completion of topic also you have revised each and every topic previous prepared by you and after completion of subject also you have revised previous subjects also means your number of revisions are day by day increasing at the end of completion of all the syllabus and before one day of examination you will feel that the first subject is revised 50 times right now my dear students so after every revision for next revision the time required is decreasing so in december the maximum time required for the complete syllabus revision will be 10 days right and after 10 days or 8 days you have to solve full length test series so in december month at least you have to solve four full length test series right four full length test series again in january again in january your target is to learn the concepts which you are feeling difficulty for solving this test series and solve more test series in january at least 10 to 12 test series must be solved right these test series will give actual feeling of examination and these test series will give you whether you are applying the concepts or not but my dear students after every test series take a page and write down your mistakes this is a very important step right after every test series in each and every test series you are going to commit mistake this is 100 percent sure but which mistakes you have done these mistakes you must write on one page right now let us say in first test series you have committed 20 mistakes now write down all the 20 mistakes right before appearing for next test read these 20 mistakes and in next test don't repeat these mistakes let us say in second test you have committed 50 mistakes there is no problem absolutely fine in next test your mistakes are increased absolutely fine but in this 50 test there should not be any mistake which you have already committed in previous test series right 
मीन्स डोंट रिपीट द मिस्टेक युअर मिस्टेक्स आर इन्क्रीजिंग नो प्रॉब्लम बट इफ युअर मिस्टेक्स आर रिपीटिंग देन इट इज बिग प्रॉब्लम डोंट रिपीट प्रीवियस मिस्टेक्स बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वॉट यू आर डूइंग आफ्टर ईच एंड एवरी स्टेक सीरीज यू आर कमिटिंग मोर मिस्टेक्स बट न्यू फ्रेश मिस्टेक्स एंड यू आर लर्निंग दिस मिस्टेक्स एंड अगेन यू आर राइटिंग दिस मिस्टेक्स ऑन द वन पेज एंड यू आर नॉट कमिटिंग द सेम मिस्टेक्स इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेज सीरीज दैट्स वाई युअर नंबर ऑफ मिस्टेक्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इन एक्चुअल एक्जामिनेशन आर डिक्रीजिंग हेन्स युअर फाइनल रिजल्ट विल डेफिनेटली इम्प्रूव नाउ इन फेब्रुवारी दिस इयर ट्वेल्व फेब्रुवारी और मे बी थर्टीन फेब्रुवारी यू हैव पेपर फॉर मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग राइट सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगेन इन फेब्रुवारी यू विल गेट टेन टू इलेवन डेज नाउ दीज डेज आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर लर्निंग युअर शॉर्ट नोट्स इन दीज डेज हियर टारगेट इज नॉट टू सॉल्व टे सीरीज इन फेब्रुवारी टेन डेज डोंट सॉल्व इन इट ए सीरीज इट मे डिमोटिवेट यू और इट मे गेट यू इन टू द ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस सो इन लास्ट टेन डेज डोंट गो फॉर इन इट ए सीरीज ओनली लर्न युअर शॉर्ट नोट्स रिवाइज शॉर्ट नोट्स राइट अगेन सॉल्व गेट क्वेश्चन ई एस सी क्वेश्चन एंड सॉल्व मेनी सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ओनली सॉल्व मेनी सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ओनली सो दैट इफ यू फील डिफिकल्टी अगेन सोल्यूशन इज अवेलेबल टू सी आफ्टर लर्निंग द सोल्यूशन यू विल लर्न वॉट मिस्टेक्स यू हर डन राइट सो हियर अगेन सॉल्व द सेम क्वेश्चन सेम क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी यू हैव सॉल्व बिकॉज रिविजन इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू विल थिंक दैट आई एम सॉल्विंग द सेम क्वेश्चन टेन टाइम्स वाई सच अ बोरिंग प्रिपरेशन दिस थॉट मे कम इन युअर माइंड बट माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन टेल मी हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स वे आर इन युअर टेंथ क्लास टेल मी हू इज युअर बेंच पार्टनर नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू विल नॉट रिमेंबर मेनी टाइम्स युअर टेंथ क्लासमेट यू विल नॉट रिमेंबर हिज नेम ऑल्सो इफ आफ्टर फाइव टू सिक्स इयर्स इफ ही कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू विल नॉट रिमेंबर हिज नेम वाय ऑलरेडी फ्रॉम फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड टू टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर कंप्लीट टेन इयर्स यू वेर टूगेदर स्टील यू आर नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल हिज नेम बिकॉज द रीजन इज दैट यू हैव नॉट रिवाइज हिज नेम द सेम थिंग विल हैपन इन द गेट एग्जामिनेशन यू हैव प्रिपेर्ड बट यू हैव नॉट रिवाइज हेन्स यू विल मिस दिस मार्क्स राइट सो डोंट मिस द मार्क्स ऑन द कंसेप्ट दोज यू हैव प्रिपेर्ड सो रिवाइज ईच एंड एवरी न्यूमरिकल दैट ऑलरेडी यू हैव प्रिपेर्ड इट मे बी यूर ट्वेंटी टाइम और थर्टी टाइम रिविजन नो मैटर बट रिवाइज फॉर मैकेनिकल स्टूडेंट एट लीस्ट यू हैव टू स्कोर सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस मार्क्स फॉर गेटिंग सिलेक्शन इन पी एस यूज एंड एट लीस्ट यू हैव टू स्कोर सेवेंटी प्लस मार्क्स फॉर गेटिंग सिलेक्टेड इन आई एस सी बैंगलोर और आई आई टीज वी कैन से आई आई टी और आई एस सी बैंगलोर एंड ड्यूरिंग द डेज ऑफ प्रिपरेशन यूर टारगेट मस्ट बी आई दर पी एस यू एंड मस्ट बी आई आई टी डोंट सेट एनी ऑदर टारगेट The meaning of this statement is, don't set any lower target than PSU and IITs. But yes, my dear students, you can set higher target than these targets. Now, for the preparation of GATE, you need various reference books as well as you need notes. Now, here I have mentioned the best quality of notes as well as best quality of videos and reference books available in India for the preparation of GATE mechanical. Now, very first is, for the preparation, you must have EQDA video lectures. and handwritten notes from the all expert faculties right here we have formed very good quality of video lectures as well as very good quality of handwritten notes to the mark for the gate examination now second is for strength of material the reference book of strength of material by s ramamurthan one of the greatest book for the strength of material you will find many numericals in this book and this book is more than sufficient for the gate examination preparation right now second is theory of machine for theory of machine again ss ratan is the one of the best reference book no doubt in that then for engineering mechanics for engineering mechanics here i have mentioned two reference books one is foreign author and other is indian author now here yes timo shanku this is a foreign author in this book you will learn various important concepts as well as very good quality of concepts and very good quality of theory but maximum numericals you will find in bavikatti so you can refer any you can refer bavikatti also because language is very simple right now next for machine design you have to use vb bandari again in this vb bandari all the concepts are covered as well as on each and every concept you will find many numericals so very best book and very much useful for gate examination now for thermodynamics one and only pk nath 
my dear students i salute this pk nath what a author he is the greatest author right very great book for the thermodynamics refer this book right now next for fluid mechanics again modi and set now he is not a modi set it is a modi and set reference or author of fluid mechanics right now again eight for heat transfer is again salute to the pk nath pk nath is the best author for heat transfer as well as thermodynamics refer these books for manufacturing processes here i am referring you for an author one of the greatest author for production or manufacturing processes the author is sirop kalpak jain this is the best author for manufacturing processes then for material science callister best book best book for the competitive exams and for industrial engineering refer op khanna again it is a good book right these are the various reference books also you must have subscription of ekida for the video lectures and these hand written notes are free for each and every student right now this is 70 mark preparation means these reference books are for 70 mark that is technical subjects now for mathematics my dear students for mathematics you can use any reference book but you have to solve each and every previous year question for mathematics such as all the previous year gate questions of computer science branch mechanical engineering branch civil engineering branch electrical electronics production all the engineering chemical engineering for each and every engineering whatever may be number of questions asked on mathematics solve each and every question it is more than enough on one topic you will find more than 600 700 questions which are more than enough for the gate preparation right now then for aptitude now my dear students for apt preparation rs agarwal is best rs agarwal is best book right refer this book and my dear students for english i will not refer you any book because my english is also poor that's why ask your english teacher when you are attending the classes i hope that the syllabus and preparation strategy is clear to you all and wish i wish you all the best for the preparation and my dear students start your preparation from right now all the best